Imagine walking through a store and seeing something hanging on the shelf for five bucks, claiming it delivered completely free phone service. You'd probably be pretty intrigued and confused as to how such a thing could possibly exist. But apparently, Freedom Pop has made it possible. Most people would probably just walk past it and carry on, but I had to learn more, so I bought it. For the grand total of $5.26, so you don't have to. And for starters, that's kind of where the shadiness starts. This package clearly says 100% free wireless service on it, but bro, I just paid $5.26 for it. And I get it, this costs money to make, the packaging is very elaborate and detailed, but that doesn't make it completely free. However, if the service is free, I could definitely look past a little $5 purchase. So let's see what the deal is, and let's try to activate my new Freedom Pop service. All right, I can't wait to activate my 100% free wireless. So I'm loaded up here on the Freedom Pop website. It's the first thing you see there, free cell phone service for everyone. Um, you'll actually see this is a very different plan than what was advertised on the package here. So this says 100 minutes, 100 texts, 100 megabytes of data for free. This is the free standard monthly plan. This says 10 minutes, 10 texts, and 25 megabytes of data. So. I don't know if they just didn't put this plan on the website or if the website's just outdated or maybe this isn't offered anymore and this SIM is outdated. I'm not too sure. So again, at the store, this SIM card was $5, but you can see for this way worse plan, the SIM card is $10. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm just gonna try to activate uh, this one I got and see what happens. That is a very generic SIM card that just says GSMA on it. Nowhere on here does it say Freedom Pop or any kind of branding like that. It just says GSMA. All right, let's see if we can get this going. Uh, it looks like they are actually telling the truth about what it includes. So we are getting the 100 minutes, 100 texts, and 100 megabytes. As it said, interestingly, it says only at Target here. So I guess it only has select plans over there for some reason. It looks like for some reason we have to actually enter a credit card number, not 100% free like it says. I don't even know how they would charge tax on something that's supposed to be free. So this is pretty interesting, maybe another red flag. They sent me the welcome text and it was flagged as spam. So automatically the phone just flagged that. So I don't know what to do, I guess we'll go with no, not spam. Everything about this is just like really sketchy. All right, so the phone is up and running and the only SIM that is currently active in it is our Freedom Pop SIM. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is on the AT&T network because it said GSMA, which is typically associated with AT&T. So let's just run a speed test, find out. Hopefully we don't run out of our 100 megabytes of data already. Oh, I gotta turn off our Wi-Fi, of course. So, so we got our LTE plus right there. That is interesting. So we got the speed test going. It says red pocket right there which is a different company altogether. And <laughs> already we got a low data warning midway through a speed test. I guess we'll save that. Yeah, that speed test killed it. That's what I expected. 100 megabytes is basically nothing, but we can actually add more data to the plan. So it looks like we can add 100 more megabytes for two bucks, 250 megabytes for five bucks, a gig for 10 in two gigs for 15. That pricing isn't even that good. Uh, we still have 100 minutes and 99 text. They're telling me that welcome text counted. So that is both inbound and outbound text messages. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same thing for minutes. Uh, and again, you can replenish these however much you need to by adding that to your account. Again, this pricing just really is not that good for adding stuff, but I assume that's kind of the catch is like, it's free for a little bit and then, you know, you gotta pay to actually use it. I think this is kind of a scam, what they're telling us right here, that using Facebook for 30 minutes takes up 40 megabytes of data. I think maybe it might've taken up 40 megabytes like 10 years ago. So I guess we'll just have to see how this goes and see if this really is a scam or maybe it's legit. Maybe you should switch to it. Wow, that was pretty sad, but I'm not mad because even for how little is included, it still doesn't explain how they're able to make this for free. Could it be that they made a high profit on the SIM card? Some paper and plastic couldn't have cost more than like $2. But I don't think we're quite there because how could they possibly sustain my free line for just a couple bucks? I needed to dig deeper and the more I looked, the more I found the shady history of this company. If you're a wireless veteran, you may remember an old Stetson Doggett video from 2016 where he reviewed Freedom Pop. 
Just like me, he was promised 100% free phone service, he paid for a SIM card, and if he wasn't careful, he probably would have paid for way more. It seems as though their SIM cards used to come with free trials of Freedom Pop's paid plans like the 1 gig plan which was $20 a month at the time. They also automatically signed you up for a trial of Freedom Pop's Premium Plus service which was an extra $8 a month. Upon activation, you would be required to consent to free trials of these services and later be charged for them if you didn't cancel in time. And they did not make it easy to cancel these services. As Stetson showed, you had to navigate through many different menus and locate microscopic bits of text directing you to the cancellations of the paid services. It was way more steps than necessary because they didn't want you to cancel these services in the first place. But that was just one person's experience, oh, but not quite. Another YouTuber by the alias Smartphone Matters discovered on his old Freedom Pop free line, they would start charging him $4 a month for that line if he didn't pay for a new SIM card and downgrade to an even worse plan. When he tried to cancel the service by logging into his account, he was told those accounts just didn't exist. He then waited and found they did in fact charge him the $4. He ended up having to take it up with PayPal, who eventually blocked them from charging him again. And after seeing these two horror stories, I just found more and more. To add insult to injury, Freedom Pop also has a 1.8 star rating on Trustpilot with yet more horror stories and a sprinkle of some dubious positive reviews. So let's get to the bottom of this. We know this company has a sketchy past, we know that they charge people for supposedly free service. So what's it like now? Well, they've been acquired by a bigger company, Red Pocket, known for affordable and pretty popular budget barrel phone service. What they're not known for is being sketchy. So why did they acquire Freedom Pop? I couldn't tell you, but it does explain a couple things. For starters, the surprise SIM card that said GSMA on it is the same Red Pocket used across all of their brands instead of printing different designs on the same card. That also explains the carrier name being GSMA since it's once again the same SIM card. So how is Red Pocket subsidizing these lines? I eagerly waited for the next day of the billing cycle where they were supposed to charge me, but I wasn't charged a cent. This is literally free. How could that possibly be? To find out, I did what no one else has ever done and read the terms and conditions. There they outlined a few fees that could be charged to customers, including regulatory fees and even a one cent in activity fee to keep the account up. Under these terms, they could basically charge me anything at any time just to keep my line going. And this is all for a plan that includes, well, basically literally nothing. So would I recommend the Freedom Pop free plan? Probably not. The product is shady, the history is shadier, and it serves no real purpose due to the product itself being not remotely useful. But if you found me useful, definitely be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe notifications on to never miss the next video. And with that, I'm Max, and I'll see you in the next one.